This orchid care video belongs to part of a series that addresses orchid care according to ChatGPT. I would encourage you to listen carefully to the commentary as I will be using what ChatGPT gave me, verbatim. Your feedback in the comments is appreciated because I am super interested what your take is on the information, be it good, bad or indifferent. The only addition to what comes next is me saying thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate your support and I will be revisiting ChatGPT every time a new version comes out just to see if the transformers are getting smarter and more detailed. By the way, the cattleyas in bloom that you will see in this video are homegrown by a human, not by some artificial intelligence. <laughs> So welcome to how to care for cattleyas according to ChatGPT. Cattleya orchids are a popular group of orchids known for their beautiful and vibrant flowers. Proper care is essential to ensure their health and encourage blooming. Here are some guidelines for cattleya orchid care. Light. Cattleya orchids prefer bright, indirect light. They thrive in conditions where they receive approximately 4 to 6 hours of indirect sunlight per day. Avoid direct sunlight as it can cause leaf burn. Temperature Cattleyas are intermediate to warm growing orchids. They generally prefer daytime temperatures between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius, and nighttime temperatures around 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius. Providing a slight temperature drop at night can help stimulate blooming. Humidity. Cattleyas require moderate to high humidity levels around 50% to 70%. To increase humidity, you can use a humidifier Place the orchids on a humidity tray filled with water or group them together to create a microclimate. Watering. Cattleyas prefer a drying out period between waterings. Water them thoroughly when the potting medium feels almost dry, but avoid letting them sit in standing water. A well-draining orchid mix such as bark or sphagnum moss is suitable for cattleyas. Fertilization. During the active growing season, feed cattleyas with a balanced orchid fertilizer, following the manufacturer's instructions. Reduce or halt fertilization during the dormant period. Potting and repotting. Cattleyas should be repotted every one to two years or when the potting medium starts to break down. Use a well-draining orchid mix and ensure the roots have enough space to grow. Repotting is typically done after blooming when new growth starts. Potting mix. Cattleyas are epiphytic orchids and are commonly grown in a well-draining potting mix. A popular mix consists of medium-grade orchid bark, perlite and sphagnum moss. The potting medium should provide good drainage while retaining some moisture. Air circulation. Good air circulation is crucial for cattleyas to prevent the growth of fungal or bacterial diseases. Avoid placing them in stagnant areas or overcrowded spaces. Blooming. Cattleyas typically bloom once a year with flowers lasting for several weeks. After blooming, remove the spent flower spikes carefully to promote new growth. Pests and diseases. Common pests that can affect cattleyas include scale, mealybugs, aphids and spider mites. Regularly inspect your plants for any sign of pests or diseases and take appropriate measures such as using insecticidal soap or horticultural oils. Pruning. Remove any spent flowers or dead plant material promptly to prevent the spread of diseases. If necessary, you can also trim overgrown or damaged roots during repotting. Rest period. Cattleyas go through a natural rest period after blooming. During this time, reduce watering and fertilization slightly until new growth emerges. Remember that care requirements can vary slightly depending on the specific cattleya orchid hybrid and its growing conditions. 
It's always a good idea to research the specific needs of your orchid cultivar or consult with local orchid experts for personalized care recommendations. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> Before I sign off, would you take a moment to like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. That support goes a long way. It is so appreciated, as is your time watching the video, as well as your input in the comments. Have a fabulous day. On that one condition, though, that you please stay safe. Take care. Bye.